Hey there, YouTube. This is Greg on me 2005, and today um, ZT made an announcement on the new Axon 7S flagship smartphone. Um, I am a big ZT fan myself. I've been own, I've owned ZT phones. My very first one from 2014. That was the original Z Max, and then I got the Z Max. Two, I have also had the Overturn 2. Um, I also have had the Z Max Pro in the past, which yeah, I lost that phone. Uh, and I and now I currently have the Axon 7, but I also use the Z Max 2 as my daily driver. So ZT is definitely running deep in my veins. I love ZT. And I was just searching around for ZT, seeing if they had any new phones coming out. And I guess apparently ZT has announced the Axon 7S and I'm looking through here and there's a lot of information that I'm finding and pulling up on the ZT Axon 7S with the Snapdragon 821 launched uh, alongside with the ZT Axon 7 Max. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool news there. Let's see, Chinese handset manufacturer ZT has unrevealed the Axon 7S alongside the Axon 7 Max, given an upgrade to the company's premium Axon 7 smartphone. The company, in a release, is stressing on security features of the ZTE Axon 7S and Axon 7 Max smartphones, which comes with somatic integration intelligent so that's pretty cool zt axon 7s is powered by qualcomm snapdragon 821 processor while the zt axon 7 max packs a massive 4100 milliamp non-removable battery unfortunately i don't know what the unfortunate part about that is Pretty much almost every single flagship smartphone that you are buying today on this market, you can't remove the battery anyways. I mean, you know, for 2017, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, you can't remove the battery. Samsung got away from that a long time ago on their flagships. And then the LG G6 this year, you can't remove the battery. Obviously, the G5 you could, and the G4 and the G3. Um... All the iPhones, you can't remove the battery. So there's no, there's no unfortunate part there. Even on the Axon 7, you can't remove the battery. So to me, that's no big deal. Um, let's see. ZT Axon 7 Max. The company has shared the image of the Axon 7 uh, showing the speaker grill at the front placed right above the display alongside front-facing camera. Some of the other features tested by ZT for the New Axon 7 S, Axon 7 Max includes real-time voice to text translation with up to 23 language supports. So that's very, very good for folks that are looking for something that has a little more beef to it. Oh, don't tell me my computer froze. Oh, there we go. It's a little laggy. And by the way, guys, I am running my computer off of my Cricut uh, Wi-Fi here. My hotspot, Wi-Fi and the computer to the hotspot of my ZMAX 2. Let's see what else that we can read. The Chinese company, unfortunately, has not shared any more details of the smartphone and is also yet to reveal availability. So, I mean, it's really cool that ZTE is going to be bringing out some really cool new smartphones flagship ones to recall the zt xn7 was launched in china in may last year in three variants basic standard and premium highlights of the smartphone were its dual front facing speakers and cameras dolby aptness and hi-fi audio support as well as the force touch display which was also available on the premium environment we can expect some of the highlights feature on the Axon 7 to be present on the Axon 7S and the Axon 7 Max smartphones. 
for price and basic okay this is i'm not really sure exactly how you're going to break this down with the u.s money but they got like these chinese currencies and different stuff like that so i'm not even going to report on that but there really isn't much information on it yet but i just think it's really cool that zt is going to be coming out with some cool hip new premium flagship phones um again i'm not going to retire my axon 7 I, i'm loving it youtube i know my videos and everything have been a lot better with the axon 7 video recording and i'm not going to lie to you guys on youtube i have recorded quite a bit that you guys have seen recently off of the uh z max 2 that camera's pretty good um i did the uh tractor review off the z max 2 it was just kind of like a random thing i was out in the yard hey, i got a new tractor but anyways i want you guys to keep your eyeballs peeled um i'm gonna leave this comments open on this video if you guys hear any more information about the zt accent 7s with the snapdragon 821 and alongside with the accent 7 max please put some comments below this video um any more information on that so if you haven't subscribed to the channel i encourage you to please do um i'm uploading quite a few videos a week now uh, i got a lot of stuff that i've been doing and reviewing and putting together i'm going to try to do some text tech talk here and there and do some stuff like that so this is greg on me 2005 i'm signing off guys